Palo Quemao, a 48-year-old market at the heart of Colombia's capital, is usually a bustling place of commerce for fruits, vegetables and meat. But Chinese native Francisco Yu sees it as the perfect place to experience culture. An independent tour guide in Bogotá, Yu brings tourists here to taste local fruits like mamoncillo, known as Spanish lime, or the sweet zapote, which looks more like a potato for the outsider. I arrived in Venezuela with a dictionary and an audio cassette and books to learn Spanish, but without one word of Spanish. More than a decade later, and married to a Venezuelan woman, Yu is living in Colombia as a tour guide for tourists from China. He wants visitors to live the Colombian experience, getting to know the food and the people more than the museums. It is what made him fall in love with the country years ago. For me, it's been a surprise that Colombia, with 50 years of armed conflict, I thought people would be more jealous or more sad. But people are the opposite more friendly and more joyous. Francisco has even taken his love of the country online, creating a YouTube channel in Chinese and Spanish called Amistad Colombo-China, meaning Colombo-China Friendship. He shares tourist spots, Colombian food recipes, like patacones, sometimes with a Chinese twist. Colombia's fried pork is too fatty for the Chinese. But I still like to share it with them. It's very delicious. They can't eat it every day because the Chinese like to eat their vegetables. Yu explains it's not easy for tourists from China to adapt to Colombian food. Most meals incorporate very few vegetables, so Yu likes to invite tourists to his kitchen and prepare local food himself. Today, he is preparing a beef stew. He says he pre washes the meat to make the taste milder. While he has adapted to Colombia's customs, he still misses his home city's local cuisine. First, I miss my mum and dad, still living in Guangzhou. That's the blood generation. And secondly, the food. Chinese food is much more flavorful and has variety. Colombia's government agency in charge of international tourism, ProColombia, says it hopes to promote Chinese tourism, which reached its highest levels before the pandemic in 2019, with more than 18,000 visitors from China that year. Michelle Vegas, CGTN, Bogota.